Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gomati and in this video we are going to see the complete learning path of the Power Apps. <clears throat> so first we will understand what is Power App and what are the prerequisites for Power App, learning path and the sources to learn Power App. So what is Power App? Power App is basically an application, okay, that is mobile application. You can develop a mobile application or tab application, tablet application. So Power App is easy, that is low code, no code. Uh, technology okay low code means you will not be creating everything in a code okay because previously you know android if you take android you have to write everything <clears throat> you have to code it but here in power apps you don't want to code anything it will be low code or no code okay which means that if you are from any field any subject domain you can develop power apps any subject domain it's not mandatory that you should be a power computer science student okay so you can design anything so this is what the concept of power apps okay it's uh, basically a drag and drop option fine so what are the prerequisites for this basically power apps if you wanted to use you know you need a company domain okay company domain address so what is the company domain address so if you see like uh, our mail id if you take your uh, personal mail id it might be like uh, your name at uh, gmail.com or something at gmail.com at the rate gmail.com okay or at the rate outlook.com okay these are all the public domains okay but you should have your school account, school domain or an organization domain, which means that it will be either at the rate your organization name. For example, if you are studying in ABC school, so abc.com it will be, okay, or abc.co.in, something like this, okay. So after your mail ID, after the at the rate, it should be your company name or your school domain, uh, school domain or a company domain, then only you can use your power apps. So you can access power apps only through your company domain or a school domain. So that is a important request. That may be a um, barrier for a uh, few. But if you want to know about how, even if you don't have a company or a school account, how you can access power apps, please leave a comment. I will help you. <clears throat> So that is the second thing. So you can start working on the Power App. Power App is the technology which is provided to us by Microsoft. Okay. So they are providing us various options and various uh, functionalities to design an application. You can find various uh, exciting options in Power App. So how to start learning? Okay. How you can start learning and how to uh, excel in Power App. So that I'm going to show you now. <clears throat> you can start learning power apps from this that is introduction to power apps you should understand what is power apps for that you should know what are the uh, uh, features of the power apps understand what is the power platform and the components and understand the differences between a canvas app and moderative one app okay these are the two types of app which you can create it with power app the next one is you should understand what is a power app studio you should understand <coughs> you should creating a power app canvas app from scratch you should know how to create a canvas app from scratch understand the user interface and control because anyhow that will be new to you if you're uh, if you don't know power apps then you should understand all these things adding and customizing forms galleries and charts everything okay next one is the connections data connections so connecting power apps to various data sources like excel sharepoint onedrive common data sources so you have various options to connect uh, power apps has more than i think 500 connectors uh, though we will be connecting with a uh, few connectors, but you can you should know how to connect all these things and working with the data sources and tables integrating power apps with the Microsoft products. Microsoft have various products like right? SharePoint, OneDrive, uh, Dynamics, Power Automate, Power BI. So you should know how to connect with all these things. Okay. <clears throat> then power up formulas okay so power up formulas is nothing but uh, like a dax formula in power bi or um, formula writing your formula in an excel okay it's a simple formula okay you may ask me a question you said no code low code then why here formula is coming see formula is basically an expression if you wanted to customize your application probably you have to use some functionalities okay so you will not be writing a code a structured code starting starting from uh, that is uh, it's not like a procedural programming okay uh, it is like a small formula or a formula in order to uh, make your app very efficient okay 
so understand understanding expressions and formulas and uh, using uh, functions and operators to manipulate data debugging and testing expressions so these things these things you should understand in app formula and then next if you see business logic so business logic and flow creating a rule how you can create a rule in the power app validating validating the power app components and calculations in the power app forms automating business process with power automate so power automate is an another uh, technology in a power platform i have discussed about what is all these things what are all these things like power apps power automate power bi power visual agent and power uh, pages in my previous video please do watch that so that you will understand what is power apps okay <clears throat> and uh, uh, so you will understand what is power automate through that uh, so this is what about business logic and flow and then customizing and branding adding custom themes and styles to the power apps adding custom branding elements and customizing personalized um, personalizing experience in power apps next one is deploying and sharing you should know what is publishing sharing power apps with others deploying apps to different environment like testing and production managing apps life cycle and versioning and advanced concept in power app is what creating a custom connector integrating power apps with external systems with through api that is application programming interface building complex workflows and automation creating and managing power app portals after that you should definitely try out with a final project you should do the project with all these concepts whatever you have learned <clears throat> okay so this is the uh, complete topic i have given topic wise okay but a few will be uh, very comfortable if they just go with the level wise level wise in a sense what a basic level if you are a basic level what are the things you should learn initially and if, what is the in intermediate level here and what is the advanced level here so if you wanted to know in that manner then please go and visit my blog you can see completely like in the form of a beginner level intermediate level and advanced level <clears throat> okay so what are the things which you should learn in the intermediate beginner and advanced level everything i have given in detail so you can also see this in a uh, image format you can see that like how it should be okay like uh, in beginner level what are the concept you have to re understand intermediate level and advanced level so please do visit it and as i told you like uh, i told you right so power apps you have a specific learning uh, where you can start learning if you are okay with learning um, through written uh, blogs or something then power microsoft itself giving you a learning path okay the complete learning path for power apps okay <clears throat> so here in this link i will share this link with you you can find the power app learning path here so uh, as i discussed you can find everything so introduction to power platform introduction to power apps okay of course i have taken from here and put it in the learning path so you can see here introduction to power apps how to build a canvas app introduction to power visual agent how to build a model driven create a canvas app power app so everything which is given here in detail okay you can read it you can click here and see uh, see here they have given you how many minutes it will take you to complete this particular module once you right click and open you can see the lessons under that okay how many lessons you have and how many hours or minutes you can spend it in every lesson everything they have given okay clearly and if you take a, a application based like a how to build a model driven app they also has given you okay here it's not there some uh, in some uh, modules you uh, we will also have exercise okay you have to do it there okay so uh, in the exercise you can see like um how to build it okay how to create it yeah here you can see exercise get started with functions and power apps okay if you click here they'll be telling you uh, here there will be an detail exp uh, explanation of how to create it okay so don't worry start learning power apps it is very uh, very important technology which you should know um, which you should try okay because knowing about the technology is not uh, um, not a big deal you can learn it so if you want to know about the certifications in power apps please leave your comments i'll be definitely helping you out like how to what are the certifications which are available in power apps as well okay so so far we have discussed what is a power app prerequisites learning path and sources to learn so i have shown you one source single source so if you want to know about multiple various sources please let me know i'll also post it in uh, in a separate video so in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing about the learning path for power automate power virtual agent power pages 
everything okay and if you want to know about any specific technologies learning path technology learning path please leave that in the comments so can so that i can help you out thank you take care bye bye